This week in New Surrounding Israel, Israel pounds Hezbollah. So stay tuned, friends, for all the details. Well, shalom, everyone. Welcome once again to this week's newscast. I'm Robert Godslick, your host. And Israel has began to pound Hezbollah targets within southern Lebanon because, frankly, they've had enough of Hezbollah's constant rocket attacks against Israeli cities, displacing over 60,000 residents in the north. Have a look at Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as he addresses the critical situation. On October 7th, the Hamas terrorist monsters burst into Israel, murdered our people, raped and beheaded our women, burnt babies alive, and took 255 innocent people hostage, including many Americans. A day later, on October 8th, another Iranian terrorist proxy, Hezbollah, attacked Israel completely unprovoked. They fired missiles and rockets into our cities. They made 60,000 Israelis leave their homes along the Lebanon border, becoming refugees in their own land. In the subsequent months, they haven't stopped for a single day attacking us. No country can accept the wanton rocketing of its cities. We can't accept it either. We will take whatever action is necessary to restore security and to bring our people safe back to their homes. Well, there you have it. No country would tolerate nonstop rocket attacks on its civilians, and Israel is determined to put an end to it. And Israel, friends, means business. Last week, I'm sure you've all heard uh, by now of the pagers and radios of Hezbollah commanders, some 4,000 of them, that Israel blew up those pagers and those radios, injuring them and even blinding and killing some, flooding uh, Lebanon's hospitals. Then Israel launched another attack on Hezbollah last Friday with an airstrike in Beirut, firing four missiles, killing Ibrahim uh, Aquil and 15 other senior Radwin force commanders. Hezbollah, of course, uh, in shock and stunned over what happened, giving Israel a perfect opportunity to pound Hezbollah targets within southern Lebanon. Have a look at what IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagarari uh, had to say concerning the situation. About an hour ago, following indications that Hezbollah was preparing to fire towards Israeli territory, we began striking terrorist targets throughout Lebanon. The Hezbollah terrorist organization has been continuously launching attacks on Israeli civilians and has no plans to stop. This is southern Lebanon. There are dozens of Lebanese villages situated along approximately 80 kilometers of the border with Israel. For over 20 years, Hezbollah has deployed its arms inside homes and militarized civilian infrastructure. As a result, the Hezbollah terrorist organization has turned southern Lebanon into a battlefield. This is a village in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah stores cruise missiles, rockets, launchers, and UAVs inside civilian homes, hidden behind the Lebanese population living in the village. We are monitoring these activities, locating the weapons, and destroying them with precise intelligence-based strikes. I want to show you an example of a strike carried out a few weeks ago. Here we are exposing Hezbollah's method of hiding a cruise missile inside a home. The terrorists create a designated opening for the missile launch. Here you can see how we identified the terrorists making an opening in the building that exposed the missile. In a precise strike, the IDF eliminated the terrorist and this missile launching infrastructure shortly before the launch. Shortly, the IDF will engage in extensive precise strikes against terror targets which have been embedded widely throughout Lebanon. We ask residents of Lebanese villages to pay attention to the message and warning published by the IDF and heed them. 
This is an advance warning for your own safety and the safety of your family. We advise civilians from Lebanese villages located in and next to buildings and areas used by Hezbollah for military purpose, such as those used to store weapons, to immediately move out of harm's way for their own safety. I want to repeat, move out of harm's way immediately. Hezbollah is endangering you and your families. On October 8th, the Hezbollah terrorist organization decided to join Hamas war against Israel. Hezbollah's activities are dragging Lebanon and the entire region into a wider escalation. And Hassan Nasrallah is responsible for this. Over the last 11 months, we have been operating to degrade the Hezbollah terrorist organization capabilities and push back Hezbollah operatives and military assets away from Israel. We are operating to achieve all of our goals of the war in Gaza to dismantle Hamas and bring back home all the hostages and in the north to repeal the threat posed by Hezbollah and enable the residents from the north of Israel safely to return to their homes. The IDF is operating and will continue to operate in defense of the citizens of Israel wherever required. And civilians being warned to leave southern Lebanon are doing just that as Israel vows to destroy Hezbollah rockets and launch sites. Friends, the solution to this is very simple. Nasrallah needs to stop the rocket attacks and retreat north of the Latani River, which, by the way, was supposed to have happened under UN Resolution 1701 after the 2006 Lebanon War. But friends, that didn't happen. And something tells me that he's not going to do that because of really his Islamic pride and ultimately his orders from Iran, from Ayatollah Khomeini, the head of the snake, because friends, he's hell-bent on wiping Israel off the face of the map, recently calling Israel an evil, cancerous tumor. And we need to be praying for Israel. Because, as I mentioned in previous newscasts, Hezbollah has over 150,000 rockets aimed at the Jewish state. And we've yet to see Hezbollah use their precision-guided weapons that they claim they have. Uh, and it's, they're really capable of hitting anywhere in Israel. And so things can get ugly really quick. So, friends, let's keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem. But what does God have to say about all of this? Well, very simply, Genesis 12, verse 3, he says, I will bless those that bless thee, speaking of the Jewish people, and I will curse those that curse them. Khomeini, Sinwar, and Nasrallah, uh, they really ought to tremble, and they ought to take close note at how precise God's word is, because the last time I checked, all those nations in the past that have come against God's chosen people have all vanished from the world scene. The ancient Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Medes and Persians, Greeks and Romans, the Nazis, of course, they're all gone. They're all gone. But where are God's chosen people? Right back in the land that he swore as an everlasting possession to the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so woe unto all those who are trying to wipe Israel off the face of the map. Because just like what happened to Haman, the same fate will surely come upon you. And with that, and until next time, thanks for joining us on another episode of In News Surrounding Israel. God bless. Thank you.